Hello OFW fans, welcome to OFW Extreme, the first episode for 2011. I am Daniel, welcome you to the show. Daniel Matthews, of course, right here commentating OFW. And this is a very special OFW because not only is it the first OFW of the year, this OFW has no breaks, no interviews, nothing like that. It's from start to finish, straight OFW wrestling, nothing to get in the way. We're going to kick it off straight away with the first matchup of the first of the Big Shroom 2011. It is Keith Kazarian versus Osiris. This is a tournament matchup. We have got a tournament taking place over the next couple of extremes to decide who is the very first official OFW Extreme Champion. Now, if you don't know how this works, as in you haven't been to the forums yet, OFW Extreme and OFW Carnage both have championships on the shows. So you could be seen as a show champion. When you're the show champion, you are the best on the brand. But, you may be the best on the brand, but are you the best in the world? As you, as we still have the World Championship, which is held by Jason Richardson. And of course, Jason Richardson can, is going to be on both shows as the World Champion. Also, there are other titles that work just the same. The Tag Team Championships, they're allowed on both shows. The Cruiserweight Championship, both shows. The Hardcore Championship, both shows. And the Women's Championship, both shows. Now, there's also a little thing with the Special Chosen who are ran by Daniel Barber. They can go on either show they want as long as they're in the Special Chosen. So therefore, you're going to be seeing that later on tonight. Hold on a minute, fans. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to sit with my friend. Folks. You'll be seeing that later on tonight as of the Carnage's Adrian Cole will be meeting of the Extremes Rex Smith. But that's later on tonight. We'll start off here with the first match of WWE 2011, Osiris versus Keith Kazarian. The winner of this will advance into the tournament. And Keith Kazarian now gets thrown back in. I was going to say, that is not a, a good idea to try to... Well, it is a good idea to try and escape Osiris, but saying Osiris is a former world champion, I believe a former two-time world champion. Keith Kazarian, a former, former United States champion. And, uh, you know, these two men are proving it here. I mean, of W... Uh, extreme, I believe this is the first time Osiris has ever been on to OFW Extreme. So, you know, he could be uh, setting up a new career, you could say, you know, a new tactic to show because he's going to find new people and everything. He's, he's going to show his best, but of course, the main question is, is what has been going on with Osiris and the Black Magic? This strange group which now we know that one of the druids in the group is Abdullah Sheikah who a beat down Adam at the Christmas special which busted Adam open which caused Osiris to win I don't know I'm not too sure what's going on I mean uh, I mean we need answers here I mean Osiris is he part of this black magic group I don't know and you know has he been behind these attacks that's you know we don't know and yet we're still gonna find out I mean it's gonna be crazy indeed and now Osiris now on the advantage here look at this now wait no Kyukazarian pushes them away Kyukazarian now jumping off middle row spear by Keith Kazarian now Keith Kazarian now on the receiving end of a punch and saying the main event tonight is a six-man tag team match. It is Boris. It is Andre Perfection and Craig McDonald's, I apologize, versus Silas Marks, Dustin Clark, and the world heavyweight champion, Jason Richardson. And of course, Dustin Clark and Jason Richardson are going to be both meeting at OFW Doomsday in the rematch, you could say, of Dustin Clark. Because as I was saying, Dustin Clark and Jason Richardson met and out of the ashes for, to unify the World Championships. And of course now Dustin Clark officially has a rematch clause and he is taking it at Doomsday. And right now Keith Kazarian, he's trying his best 
But no, he's got us on the receiving end of a DDT. As I say, he's trying his best to me. Now, now. Oh, Osiris now. Oh, oh, big choke slam. And he moved in here. And oh, now, look at this. Osiris working on Kikazoon's arm. The winner will advance for into the second. <laughs> And the quarterfinals, I believe. Oh, and a STO there by Kikazarian. Now Kikazarian. Suddenly has all the offense. Big spine buster dropping Osiris. That was impressive. Now Kikazarian. One. Two. No, only a two count there. And no. Oh, thrown overhead. And every time Kikazarian seems to like he's going to get some offense going. Osiris stops him in his tracks and now oh no Kikazarian reverses goes on the knee to a headlock now it gets reversed round big boot into the face and now Osiris looks like he's gonna try and call for the end here and now look at this here here we go choke slam a second choke slam Kazarian though breaks out oh hits a punch trying to oh hits another punch it's no! Wait a minute! No, wait a minute! Look at this here! It could be eternal damnation! Oh! Dropping him head first! Head first down! One, two, three! It's all over, fans! Osiris Day with an impressive victory advancing through here! Oh, God, that was. That was unbelievable. Let's look at some of these replays here. I mean, here's the choke slam, which then led up into this here, the eternal uh, damnation, I believe he calls them. Spiking Kid Kazarian on his head and gaining the victory. Congratulations to Osiris advancing through the Extreme Championship Tournament and opening up the first Extreme episode in 2011. And as I said, there are no breaks here, but <laughs> we'll go straight through into a singles one on one match. It is Vlad versus David Webster. And if, you know, David Webster, one half of Reckless Abandon, one half of the World Tag Team Champions. I mean, if Vlad here could win tonight against David Webster, could, no, could that put the outside invasion? on the map for a world tag team title shot i mean if if that could happen you don't know. oh i i'm really sorry fans i've got something in my throat here oh <coughs> i apologize and here comes david webster and um coming out without his championship for some reason i think he might be a bit too drunk he is uh, known for drinking his red bull and Whatever he drinks, I don't know, Red Bull and Nyquil or something, I don't know, I don't know the drinks, I'm not cool, I'm not down, I'm not down with the kids keeping it real, you know, lads keep things vaguely imaginary sometimes, you know, it's just me. Anyway, Dave Webster has got a big task in hand, taking on the big powerhouse known as Vlad, one half of the outside invasion, and as I said, if Vlad beats Dave Webster, surely that could put the outside invasion into a tag team title shot position at least or at least get them noticed within the tag team division because i mean the tag team division division this year is unbelievable we've got trigger toxic society x uh, ally powers and among others and the outside invasion is just you know all these teams gunning for reckless abandon and right now david webster jumping off leg drop to the back of the head of vlad and Webstar, the most interesting uh, person, most probably in OFW, you know, with um, his uh, strange hair and unique attire. But then again, Reckless Abandon, both have unique attires, I've got to say. And right now, David Webster punching Vlad and dropping Vlad to the outside. Now, David Webster jumping over. No, no. Comes up way short on there. And suddenly, Vlad takes the advantage onto David Webster and now dropping David Webster faced first to the mat I mean to the barricade even <laughs> that's saying this is a no break no I apologize fans it seems my phone is ringing which means 
I apologize, I believe that was, yeah, that was my wife. And uh, she said she made me a sandwich. Well, that's, that's good to know. You know, fans, you'd always need a sandwich to be made. Anyway, now back to the action here. Vlad smacking the head of David Webster down. And David Webster looks like he could be in trouble. No, he trips up Vlad. And now look at this. Oh, David Webster jumps off there. We have the springboard splash. And now David Webster. Kick to the face of Vlad or in the chest area. Could have got him in the throat there. Vlad was coughing a bit there. And Webster now. Send him Vlad to the corner. Give him a powerful clothesline. Oh, jumping off again. No, no, Vlad moved. Vlad rolled out of the way. Oh, wow. Kicks Webster to the ground. And Webster just flew across that ring there. And now, oh, looks like going for a, Oh, slamming him down. It's like a barber bottom, it seemed there. A barber bottom, and now it's fish. Uh, Feynman's carrying him over. He could, is uh, what a version of Feynman's carry. And now Vlad picking up Webster, dropping Webster down, headbutt into the stomach, and a kick to the back. And suddenly Vlad is got all the offense here. And Webster, though, net breaker. Webster's trying to fight back, going outside. Springboarding, no, no, just standing there. I thought he was going to springboard. Oh, there he goes. And there, there we go. It's a big slingshot. Oh, Webster now, no. Gets kicked again. And his feet just get tangled up in the ropes. Wow. Well, headlock takedown here by Vlad. And Vlad now punching the face of Webster. And Webster could be in some serious trouble. Here gets caught. Oh, God. Oh God! And Vlad now. Vlad gets punched into the stomach. Webster no gets turned into a headlock. And look at this, picks him up. Oh, there's the. Is it going to be the first DDT? He drops him head first down. And Vlad now going for the pin. One, two. Three years all over, fans. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match, Vlad. Which again, of course, begs the question Will you know, will this push the outside invasion into you know, a tag title situation? We do not know. But ladies and gentlemen, Vlad won here tonight in an impressive victory over one half of the tag team champions, David Webster. Congratulations, Vlad.